Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. We got a late start to our day, but that's just because we were relaxing in our hotel room here in Luxor. And our host kindly drove us to the airport. We checked in online, we went through security, and now we're just waiting at the gate for our flight to Cairo. And we're back in Cairo. We're not proud, but we're very hungry, and we'll explain in a second after we've eaten. Story time. We arrived in Cairo at 5 p.m., and our next flight isn't until tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning. So our plan was just to go through passport control, follow the connecting flight signs, and hang out there or if we could get into the lounge with our priority pass cards. However, uh, pretty much every single opportunity we've been told that due to security reasons we can't get through. So we were told by security that we cannot gain access to the rest of the airport until one o'clock in the morning. So we were planning on eating at the lounge because that would have been free. However, the only place that you can eat out here is Burger King. They don't even like have a convenience store or anything. So that explains why we had Burger King. We would have preferred not to have, but yeah, now we have to count seven hours before we can go through security and passport control to the lounge. With spotty internet. So that's gonna be a challenge, which is luck. I've never heard of anything like this happening before. Me neither. Like this is considering the fact that we've basically done exactly this kind of thing in Ankara. We went through, they said, oh yeah, there's normally a three hour time limit. We told them when our flight was, which was probably about like nine to 12 hours. Yeah, I think it was 12 or 13 hours. Later than we were arriving at the lounge and they just said, yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll just come around and we register you every time. And there were no problems. You could freely use the lounge as we wanted to but for some reason that's just not a thing here it also wasn't a thing in jordan so well and that's just the lounge that you're talking about yeah security and passport control didn't even bat an eye anywhere else whereas here they're the ones who are stopping us who knows what would have happened if we'd actually made it to the point of the lounge here yep so that's fun so we'll keep you updated and talk to you in a bit You guys, have you ever seen an airport duty-free that sells stand mixers, blenders, whisks, espresso machines, kettles? What in the world is this? You want to get a juicer for the road? They have frying pans too. They do also have all of your standard fare for how much? 10 US dollars for dairy milk. Who would buy that? And then $17 for a total room if you're interested in paying way over the odds. And then the cheapest thing that we have found out of everything so far is this little bag of after rates for $9. So apparently a total run is $17, but if you want to get absolutely off your rocker on 69% proof absinthe, then it's only $22 for a litre. What? Make this make sense. How is vodka the same price as chocolate? I don't get it.
So here we are at the Cairo First Class Lounge. As ever, it is time for our regular lounge ratings and we are going to be doing our usual thing, so let's get into it. Unfortunately, we cannot say anything good about the food. There are hot dishes out, they're completely empty, and the only thing they have are cheese sandwiches as well as some white bread with apricot jam. And even those are not good quality, so with that we're giving it a 2. For drinks, you have a selection of terrible coffee, barely enough water bottles to pass around. To be fair, they do have some juice boxes and a couple of cans of pop, but that's about it. Definitely no alcohol either. We are being very generous in giving this a two. In regards to cleanliness, it's by no means dirty, but there are stains on the floor as well as on the couches and a little bit of dust. So we are waiting at a five. In terms of the comfort, actually, to be fair, we are sat on some quite nice couches, but it does feel a little bit claustro, and it's very clear that this whole thing could do with a bit of a spruce up, so we're giving this a six. As for amenities, there is nothing here. We have a plug, the Wi-Fi is extremely spotty, it keeps going on and off, and apparently the washrooms aren't even on this floor, they're not clearly marked, we heard they're upstairs, but who knows, so we're giving it a two. So in tossing all of that up, that gives us by far the lowest total for any lounge we've been to so far, with a measly 17. We've officially arrived at our Airbnb in Dubai, minus a tripod, and after a super long day, so we're going to go to sleep. Yep, and then once we're back up, then we'll probably do stuff and maybe explore a little bit. But until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>